All right, hello everyone. My name is Anson and welcome back to Prison Architect. We are still in our maximum security prison. In the last episode, we had Adam Griffin strike again, and now we have a guard dead, murdered by a prisoner with baton. So yeah, he's gonna be dragged into a hearse here, and Mr. Adam Griffin, who's actually next next door here, yeah, we are going to have to figure out a way to deal with him basically because. Yeah, it's it's quite obvious that it's not going to work like this if we keep him around in gen pop, general population. So, yes, as I was saying in the last episode, I think it might be a good idea to maybe figure out a way to get all those dudes... Huh, get all those maximum security dudes, super max, I should say, because everyone's maximum security here. Uh, super max dudes is separated from the rest of the, of the uh, population here. And... I've did I've done some research and it turns out that that is in fact possible. We are going to be able to uh, permanently lock him down in a cell, and then we will have guards bringing him food whenever it's his time to eat from the canteen that his cell is designated to. So we should be able to manage that, and for that we are going to need legal and then permanent punishments in order to be able to lock him away in a cell permanently. So that's going to take us 12 hours and another 24 hours for permanent punishments. Then in the meantime, we will be starting to build a separate uh, building here that will house all of those Supermax dudes. And uh, do we have more? I think, yeah, we do have a couple of them actually, currently three. And I think we will probably set those high-risk dudes to... Um, whenever they get punished, they will be upped in security level as well, and then they will be moved to that separate facility too. Yeah, I think that's sort of the uh, the deal for the uh, for this episode, and maybe the next one as well, because this is gonna take some time. First off, we don't have a lot of money to actually make this happen. Now, I did say before, I did say before that we can actually get this um, this 20k so that's gonna be fine if we just hire I, I mean a couple of the guards extra maybe five more or so then we will have this so that's gonna be fine um, reform is gonna be difficult it looks like we have space for another grant yes we do 20k advance payments for the prison manufacturing we will probably not be able to make this just because of the fact that our prisoners are not really able to work because of their uh, suppression levels might work at some point uh let's see cell block b well we are getting closer it's only 24 away uh but that no i don't think that's gonna work we might do the inmate nutrition research but it looks like these grants are somewhat difficult to um to complete at last, uh, at least, we might be able to get this. We could get a loan, and we can also, I think, sell some of our shares, which will bring in 14k. And we could... Let's see... You can sell up to 50% of your prison as shares to outside investors. You will be paid in cash. In return for the investment, your shareholders will take their fraction of the total sale price when you sell sell the prison so if we want to sell the prison and start a new prison with the money that we make from this one um with the total worth that we currently are at that will be uh um that's what you start with in your new prison uh, but that's not what we're going to do so we might as well sell i don't know maybe this much yeah that will give us 34k i do intend to actually buy it back at some point i do see this as a sort of a loan because i do like to be the sole owner of our prison so this is just a temporary measure here um, in order to get that investment going on our Supermax dudes. Okay, I was also thinking we might might want to go with Death Row at some point, although I've never really dabbled with that before, so it would be an experiment. In any case, we can hire the lawyer and put him in this office when we get to it. For now, let's see where we actually want to build the Supermax building. Building concrete, right? So what's the idea here? We we wanted to build some more cells, I think, around here, and here as well, because we do have the space and the canteen space as well to make that happen. So, um, I think we should probably plan that. This is 
10 plus the wall is 11. Okay. So 10 plus the wall is 11. That's what we are going to need for the cell block that we are going to build later on. Right? Oops. Oh, yeah, okay. Like so. And there will be a... Uh, this is more like it, yes. There will be a corridor here. There will be cells. Let's see. One, two, one, two, two, like that. And then like so. One, two, three. One, two, three by two. Yes, that's correct. There's a corridor here. And then there's going to be another cell here. Yeah, this seems to be correct, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we are going to do. I will leave this here for now so that I can remind myself that that is actually our goal. Same goes, of course, on this side. So this is going to be our extension possibilities, expansion possibilities for our general population. Like so. And then like so. And no, that's actually not correct. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, no, that... Did. This is just one across. This is two. Yes. Apologies for that. Like so. Okay. So that's going to be the rest of our cell block. Might want to do a shower here. A main shower. Just like this one, but a bigger one. And then maybe something like that on this side as well. Just to give everyone an opportunity to actually go shower. Because these are the only showers that we now have, right? Yeah. And that is a bit problematic. We might also want to extend this. Just like we have on this side. So that's going to be seven across. Like so. And then actually bring the cell block around like this. And then create some kind of a shower system here. Something like that. That's actually not correct, but oh well. Right, so yeah, that could be interesting. And then continue the corridor here. And here as well. Okay, so that's settled then. Um, now, this corridor, we can actually keep it going. Uh, let's see, do we any actually want to connect this up? Probably yes, to the rest of the building. Um, and we can, of course, use large steel doors here. Uh, that will close this area off to the rest of the prison. So there won't be any problems with Griffin killing people or at least not other prisoners he might kill a guard or two one day join in their cell to give him food but oh well okay so that's gonna be fine um do we want to leave any space here I don't think so I think we could just go and continue this uh, straight away now how big do we want to keep yeah get their cells remember we need quite a bit of object quite a, a lot of objects in this um in this cell because we will need a bed right uh, not a bunk bed but a normal bed okay and a shower and a toilet and a witch bench and a phone booth just to keep them happy and I mean it sounds like sort of a uh, a resort a spa kind of thing where they have everything they need but that's gonna keep him from actually murdering anyone. So I'm um, I'm willing to give that up, and just have him permanently locked here. I'm I'm talking about Adam Griffin now, and the other Supermax dudes in their prison, so they won't cause any more trouble. We might also want to get a radio inside, or maybe even a TV, and then that's gonna be fine. So I think this is gonna be a good size. Uh, planning. How big is this? Five across and five across, right? Yeah, five by five. I think that sounds fair. Um, and we will continue this. And this is not actually the correct size. And uh, this should be five by five. Yes. No, I, I didn't actually want to draw that. Okay. And we will get a corridor as well, of course. Uh, of two. And then another five and another five. Out of safe. Thank you. Like so. Right, so now this is probably how it's gonna look. And is this correct? No, this is four. 
I was looking at this, I was going like, no, this is not... That's better. Apologies. Okay, and then so on, right? So we can just keep this going and then maybe have a corridor in the middle or something. Yeah, actually, let's plan that out as well. Just to be safe. This is not correct either. I suck at this, but that's fine. There we go. And then another corridor of two. And then we will go again like uh, this. This is not correct. This is correct. No, this is not correct. There we go. No, I usually don't like drawing all the stuff here, but for for now it seems like the best idea. And okay, yeah, and then we'll get one more, like so. So that's not actually gonna line up properly, but that's sort of fine. We can always just draw some extra stuff here, maybe, or maybe we well. Okay, what I wanted to do is create a kitchen here, right? Kitchen and a canteen, probably. Although this is kind of smallish. Uh, but the thing is, we don't actually need the canteen, because these guys are going to be in permanent lockup. So it's not going to be that big of an issue. This would be probably be more interesting, yeah. Although I really don't like the fact that this doesn't line up properly. We could go with a cell at the end that is not actually 5x5, five five, but rather has one space less, like so. And then like this. I think that would probably make sense, and I think we probably can cramp in all the uh, stuff here. That's probably going to be Adam Griffin's cell because it's smaller, and he's a horrible person. Okay. Yeah, I think this makes sense. Yeah, I like it. It's gonna look quite nice. So this is gonna be the kitchen, uh, canteen, and this is the kitchen, which is small, but we just need a fridge, a cooker, and a sink. And I think the sink is actually three across, is that correct? Yes, th that is correct. So this will be the cooker, and then this the fridge. And that's gonna be good. We will hire a cook for, for this room separately. And then this will be designated as Supermax only, so that we are sure that there's not actually going to be any people here. Um, for now, I think we will actually close this, but this gives us the opportunity to actually expand into another cell block for Supermax dudes, right? Okay. So, here we go. Concrete. Mm, now for the hard part. Uh, let's do something like this for now. And actually, let's draw the entire thing. So that's going to cost us about 12, uh, 12k, yes. And we will demolish walls. Bam, there we go. Okay, in the meantime, it's 4 o'clock. I'm not quite sure when we did our last shakedown. But I'm feeling like we might need to do the one. Just Let's just do it. Uh, prisoner is uh, we our prison is actually closed because we are filled to the max, so that's fine-ish. It's more difficult to make to make money. I was in my uh, other safe game uh, the other day, and that's a medium security prison, and you actually have way more opportunities of having everyone work for you and therefore making money for you. And also, every time that you have a prisoner uh, released early. Uh, because of, I don't know, good behavior and parole and such. Uh, you just get a flat, I think, 3k as a bonus. But that's hardly going to ha ever happen here. Because these guys are all stuck here for, I, I don't know, maybe 20 years at least. So it's it's more difficult to make money, I've found. Then again, we are getting more uh, money for every prisoner that we have in here. Just because they are super max. So, or maximum security. So yeah, there's that. Not quite sure which is uh, better to have. Okay, so our shakedown didn't actually bring us anything, it looks like. Which is fair enough, because uh, we screen everyone that comes in. Okay, we've got some booze here. Well, if, if that's the, the worst of it, then that's sort of fine with me. 
Okay, so cell block has been built, and I think we will actually create the walls straight away as well. Because my goal here is to lock up Adam Griffin as quickly as possible. So we will get that lawyer and get him to research quite soon. Basically as quickly as we can, can spare it. Let's get this first block on the way first, and then this one actually as well. Okay, and maybe this one too, so that we can place a door here. Okay, so that's the entire cell block done. Looks fine to me. We will of course bring in our utilities as well. Uh, whoops, that didn't go like so for the cooker and such. And then our large piping. So let's um, do the toilets and showers on this side. Let's see if we can remember so that we can just go like this. I don't have to worry about that anymore. And the sink is going to go on this side. So there you go. Okay. So that's all the infrastructure. Yeah, seems to be good. And we will also place a large steel door so that this this side of the building is actually separated from the rest. And no, this is going to be fine because we don't need one here because this is going to be a new cell block anyway. Okay. Now let's hope that there's not a lot of tools just hanging around here and piping with which people can be killed. That sounds reasonable. The fact that we hope that, I mean. Okay, so food seems to be fine. I think, yeah, free time now for Supermax. Adam Griffin's still in there, solitary, another three and a half hours. He's gonna have a lot of issues though. So I'm, I'm really happy if we can finally get the, uh, get this side of the, uh, of the building up and running. Reform program, very nice. Good guys. Good for you. And actually someone's here as well in the reform program. Adequate concentration and understanding excellent. So yeah, he's gonna probably be a good help for us in the kitchen. Mm, very nice. Okay, so do we actually have legal? No, four and a half hours, so that's around five o'clock. Okay, so just a bit more patience. It's quite a lot of stuff that goes in there, but uh, let's lock this open for now. It's probably gonna be worth it. I'm gonna put solitary doors here in as well. Just to give it that extra edge. And let's start with the cookers here, actually. And the uh, general kitchen stuff. And where is the cooker? Cooker, I can't see you, so I'll search you. Cooker. It's going to be a cramped space, but it's, it's probably going to be all right. And the sink. Like so. Is there actually no piping here? Yes, there is. Okay. Probably already laying down. Okay. We're not going to designate this as a kitchen just yet because that will mean that people will try and come here for food and a canteen. So that's not what we're going to do. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's go with the toilet first because I don't want to forget that we actually need it on this side. Uh, so so let's give him some privacy, right? Like this. And then a drain for this shower. Whoops. There we go. And then a shower head, if I can find it. Yes. Right above the drain. Auto saving. There we go. And I think this should do it. Yes, looks like it. Okay. So let's continue. We still have 11k in the bank, so we should be able to make this quite comfortably. 
A bad, a bad, a bad, a bad. Another bad. Not a bad, not a bad. And then a wage bench, so they can exercise, right? Need to make Adam Griffin even stronger, of course. There we go. And a phone booth, so that they have their family needs satisfied. This is ridiculous, I realize this, but eh. There we go. And then finally, I think a radio. Let's give him a radio rather than a TV. I think that's gonna do it. Okay. Now let's let our dudes bring in all the stuff that we need. And then we'll place the solitary doors, which are 500 bucks a pop. So, oh, wait, let's also, just for, this, for the sake of it, bring in a table here. Uh, probably oh wait first a serving table because that's actually essential because that's where the guards will pick up the food from once the cooks have actually placed it on there so that's actually something that we need and now we can model the rest around that mm, it's so cramped Let's go like this there's not there's not no one gonna be sitting here anyway so, so it's sort of fine there we go Although we can, of course, already uh, bring in our Supermax dudes here. Let's actually get our deployment and... Yeah, see, we can go like this. Just because there's a drill door here, this separates this building from the rest of the building. So, once we designate this as cells, we can get this to, um, to be Supermax only. And then, yeah, we'll have them separated from the rest of the group. So that's good. We'll have a guard here, of course, and maybe a dog patrol, maybe an armed guard. That makes sense, I think. More, yeah, armed guard makes sense. It's gonna be a patrol here. Yes, yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't think we have enough patrols. Let's see, Adam Griffin. I think he's gonna be fine, although he does need sleep. Well, I mean, you can just go and sleep right now. Yeah, you can do it. It's free time. It's lock up. Nah, it's gonna, it's gonna take a long time. But he can go for free time. I'm not sure if he can sleep in lock up. Okay, so this is looks fine. Cook coming in. We will designate this in a bit. But there's still quite a lot of stuff to carry in here. Luckily, it's just a straight, straight uh, road actually to the uh, to this separate building. So. It's quite easy for our workmen to uh, get all the stuff that they need. A lot of box boxes, though. S uh, just go and sleep. Uh, I'm not feeling too happy about this. Oh, actually, uh, we can hire the lawyer. I forgot about that. Right? Yes, lawyer. So, you will go there. We don't have sufficient funds anymore. So what we will do is get that uh, grant. 20k in advance. And we will make this at some point. But it's going to be a long time in the future. But that's fine. Okay, so that means that we can now get um, the next research here. Which is going to be permanent punishments. 24 hours, so that's in 7, uh, 7 o'clock the next day. That's when we can actually lock down our prisoners in here. Before that, we can already designate them to actually live here. Adam uh, Griffin. He's going to eat now. Well, that's something. He needs food and sleep. So that's one of the things that he needed. Perhaps it's going to help. I'm not sure. Look, all the objects, though, that we need to carry in here. We could have gone with smaller cells. I mean, the 4x4 four four looks fine. So that would have actually fit as well, quite nicely. Oh well, it's fine. Okay, can you go? Yes, he's sleeping. Nice. Because it's, not, I mean, it's lock up for him and then free time for an extra couple of hours and then sleep. But 
Even now he's like, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye. Which is fine. Okay. Uh, solitary doors. I think that's the last thing that we need, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not necessary. We could go with the um, normal doors, jail doors, but eh. Okay. Here we go. And then we will actually set this as cells, which will also increase our capacity because our supermax dudes will be moved here. And that's it. Okay. Now, uh, let's designate this as a canteen. Whoops. And then this is a kitchen. Thank you. Kitchen. Can we set logistics, by the way? Yes, we actually have researched that. Okay, good. There we go. Everyone here will go to there. And why can you not do that? I think it's because this cell uh, has already been designated. Um, so, deployment. Super max only. There you go. And mm, I think that should probably do it. Too high quality. Yeah, that's something that we are going to get now, but oh well. Uh, three maximum security are going to join us. That's interesting because we do have more space, but I I think it's not going to be filled just because we do only have three maximum security dudes who are now going to be moved here. So that frees up three slots, but three slots only. So that's why we are only getting three prisoners, which I like. Very good. Okay, you have picked your cell, Andrew Sexton. You as well, Leave Newman. Okay, and where is the one person that we actually built this for? Griffin. All of the available cells are too high quality. Yeah, but still, I just want you in in there, really. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's very good. That actually worked. I just clicked here, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's not why this worked. Oh well. Okay, so let's see. We don't have permanent punishment yet, but we did separate our maximum uh, super max dudes from our normal security dudes, and that has freed up three slots. Yeah, pretty happy about this. Permanent punishments will kick in in 16 hours. That's when we can actually close this do these doors permanently, and that will allow us to uh, to let guards bring food to these prisoners, so they won't ever have to leave their cells. And that's basically how hopefully we can uh, deal with this. What are you doing? You're just standing in the canteen. Well, that's, I mean, that's fine. I still don't, why is this? Why is that a separate thing? Yeah, look at him. He can now shower whenever he wants. Although he really needs to sleep, but oh well. And I'm not, I, I'm probably going to hire another cook here. $100 a day, though. That's pretty hefty, looking at the amount we're losing every day. <sighs> I mean, I'm hoping that these guys can manage without an extra cook. It's pretty close to the next kitchen. So, eh, not quite sure. I'm just thinking if we should set deployment to the rest of the prison for Metsack. No, Max Sack. Could go like this. And then this is Super Max, right? Yeah. So that these cells can only be occupied by maximum security and not Super Max. I think that makes sense. Just think just just to be sure. And how have we set our food distribution? Yeah, that, that looks fine. So it's going to be 15 demand here, 8 demand here from these cells. And it's probably going to be 3 demand here. Yeah, meals require 3. 
predicted demand. So I think the cooks will probably know this, especially which is especially fine as um, the uh, the times are actually offset between the security types. So should be fine. Right, uh, we'll put in a quick cut, and in the next episode we will look at the effects of our permanent punishment and see how this is panned out. Right, so uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.